Good day, boys and girls. Today's lesson, we're going to be having a look at your memo for your revision for the test, which would be on Thursday this week. Now, looking at question one, we got periwinkle is making houses using match sticks as shown in the diagram below. Follow steps from question one to 1.1 to 1.6 to find the rule to determine the number of matchsticks needed to make each arrangement. So you have your arrangements there. You have arrangement one to four. Question 1.1, you want to write down the number of matchsticks required to make the houses in each arrangement. So let's have a look at your memo. So we got five, nine, 13, and 17. So we got one, two, three, four, five matchsticks in the first arrangement. So you're going to write five. In the second arrangement, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counted all the matchsticks, you've got nine matchsticks. You're going to write nine. In your third arrangement, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. So in your third arrangement, you've got 13 matchsticks. In your fourth arrangement, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hence, your answers for 1.1 you got 5 9 13 and 17 upon counting the number of matchsticks in each arrangement question 1.2 want to determine the constant difference another word for constant difference would be common difference so we're determining the constant difference or the common difference now when you look at constant difference remember you're going to take for example t2 you're going to minus t1 and you're going to see what you get so we took um you got t1 t2 t3 t4 so looking at term four i want to subtract term three so i got 17 minus 13 i got four then i want to take three and i want to subtract t2 so i said 13 minus nine and again i got four then I'm looking at term two, subtract term one. So I've got nine minus five and I've got four. So what you're finding is that each time you take your previous term and subtract the one before that, you're going to get a number four. Hence the constant or your common difference is four. Looking at question 1.3, I want you to multiply the pattern arrangement number by the constant difference. So our pattern arrangement number is these. You've got one, two, three, four. You want to take these numbers and you want to multiply by your constant difference. So you got one times four, you got four. Two times four, you got eight. Three times four, you got 12. Question 1.4, we want to find the number that needs to be added to get the number of matchsticks used in each triangle arrangement. So if you're looking at your triangle arrangements, remember we had five here and we had nine there. So we want to find out, you took the ter first term, you multiplied by four, which was your constant difference and you got one times four but you got five matchsticks there what needs to be added to four to get five so we add one to get five here we are then we look at your second term so you said the term number or your pattern arrangement number you said two you multiplied by your constant difference four so you got eight what needs to be added to eight to make nine because nine is the number of math sticks in pattern two so we need to add one hence we add one we got nine term three you said three times four we're getting 12 we need to make 13 because we have 13 math sticks in term three hence if we add one we will get 13 so the number that needs to be added throughout is one question 1.5 
Question 1.5, I want you to write down in your own words the relationship between the pattern number and the number of sticks required. So the number of sticks required learners is equal to the pattern number multiplied by the constant or common difference plus one. Let's look at question 1.6. Write your answer from above as an algebraic rule. So you got your TN formula is equal to N times four plus one, because N would be representing any pattern number. And when we simplify that, we got four N plus one. Right, looking at question two now. PISA is creating the following patterns using matchsticks. The first arrangement has five matchsticks. If you count that, you've got one, two, three, four, five. The second arrangement uses eight matchsticks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the third one uses 11 matchsticks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Now you have to draw the next pattern. So here's the next pattern. 2.1, we're looking at something that looks like this. All right. So you've got one, two, three, four of these triangles there. Question 2.2. Now 2.2, want, we want you to copy and complete the table. You're letting the pattern number be N and the number of match sticks to be S. Now look at pattern number one, two, three, four, five. And then we look at pattern number 12. So all the information given above is in the table here. So pattern number one has five match sticks. Pattern number two has eight. Pattern number three has 11. You need to tell me in pattern number four, how many match sticks would you find? So if you look at it, you got eight and the previous one was five. So to get the next, to get pattern number two, we added three to five. So we said five plus three, we got eight. To get pattern number three, we added three to eight and we got 11, which means to get pattern number four, we have to add three. So here we are. Pattern number two, we got five. Pattern, sorry, pattern number one, we got five. Then we added three, we got eight for pattern number two. We add another three, we got 11 for pattern number three. Pattern number four is 14. Pattern number five is 17. And pattern number 12 is 38. Then question 2.3. We want to use, okay, sorry, one, 2.3, want to write an algebraic formula relating the number of match sticks to the pattern number. So basically, we want to find the T and rule. All right. So you may use whatever method you prefer. Following what we've done in the previous example, we got T1 is equal to 1 times your constant difference or con common difference you would find to be 3. So basically, we said 8 minus 5, you got 3. You said 11 minus 8, you got 3. 17 minus 14, you got 3. So you got a common difference of 3. So you said 1 times 3, we got 3. But we need to make this number 5. So you have to add 2 to get 5. Then we're looking at term 2. So we're saying 2 times 3, which is our constant difference. And we're getting 6. So we need to add 2 in order to make eight looking at term three we're going to say three times our constant difference three we're going to get nine but we need to get 11 so you will have to add two to make 11. therefore you're noticing that throughout you're multiplying by three and you're adding by two the only thing changing is your pattern number hence you got tn where n is representing your pattern number to equal to n times 3 plus 2. If you simplify that, you're going to get 3n plus 2. Question 2.4. 2.4, we want to use the formula to determine the number of matchsticks in the 
following. So we look at the seventh pattern, the 10th and the 12th. Now I have said, use the formula. You can choose to do it in whichever method you prefer. Uh, let's have a look. So if you're gonna use that your formula of Tn is equal to three N plus two. So we're looking at T7 because we're looking at the seventh pattern. So T7 is equal to three times seven plus two. You got 23 there. Question B, we want to find out how many matchsticks would be in pattern 10. So T10 is equal to 3 times 10 plus 2. We got 32. And lastly, we look at how many matchsticks will be in the 21st pattern. So you got T of 21 is equal to 3 times 21 plus 2. That is equal to 65. And again, remember you're allowed to use your calculator for all these things. Question 2.5. Now, question 2.5. If there are 92 matchsticks in the arrangement, use the formula to determine the pattern number. Okay. So basically, we're saying your TN is equal to 92. We have 92 matchsticks. So 92 is equal to your TN formula, which is 3N plus 2. Now you have yourself an equation, and you have to solve this equation to find N, being, which is your pattern number. So remember, you got 92 equals to 3N plus 2. So our first step to solving an equation would be to take this 2 to the other side. And how do you take 2 to the other side? So you would say 92 minus 2, because you've got a positive 2 on the side. The opposite of the positive would be a negative. You'd say 92 minus 2, you've got 90. So you'd be left with 3n on this side. Now 3n, we want to isolate the n. Hence, we have to divide by 3. Remember, 3n means 3 times n, and the opposite of multiplication is division. Therefore, we would divide the side by 3n, and whatever you do on this side, you're going to do on the other side, means you're going to say 90 divided by 3. So therefore, you got n is equal to 30. That's it for your lesson, boys and girls. Good luck for your tests.